Please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Sudeep, the one mid-cap that's really got uh, you know everybody sitting up and take notice this week is HDIL. I mean, ever since the numbers came in out of nowhere, this is a stock that's gone up almost 30-40%. Uh, have you uh, sort of considered it on, on, on your horizon at all, off late? Any thoughts? Well, I think, uh, you know, uh, the results have been fantastic, but honestly, it was not in our buying list. We haven't been uh, recommending it. Uh, but having said that, I think uh, looking at the result, it definitely shows a uh, you know clear picture of the way forward. I think uh, we have to re-evaluate uh, whether to advise this uh, uh, investment or not. But having said that, you know we will still continue to prefer uh, some of the uh, large mid-cap uh, uh, companies which are uh, related to the consumption theme, overall consumption theme, uh, which we believe are still uh, very very attractively valued. And we will continue to focus on those uh, yet. Okay, by the way, just look at some of the stocks. There's some of the large mid-caps moving today. Uh, Chula Mandalam Finance, just pull out the intraday chart on that one. That's uh, moved to fresh intraday high. Uh, there are a lot of names like this. Uh, uh, that's, of course, Chula Mandalam Finance. Uh, and look at that big move taking place right now on that stock. PVR's intraday chart would be interesting. That stock making a bit of a move towards the high point. MRF is right now at the high point, highest point of the day. Uh, Britannia is uh, at the highest point of the day. A lot of these non-nifty large cap stocks making a bit of a move here. Uh, Ashwani, your thoughts on some of these, uh, the likes of Chola Mandalam making a big move? See, Chola Mandalam has been doing that uh, for a bit. I mean, a couple of days back also, uh, it went to the uh, high point of the day when Bajaj Finance was also doing well. So this is one of the outperforming NBFCs. I think 1600, 1650 should happen here. Today, uh, you know, Nifty Junior is up 400, 450 points. So now it's possible that uh, these stocks start to outperform as the Nifty hits new highs as well. Hmm. Uh, Sudeep, it's been a, a wobbly uh, week for metal stocks. I mean, they've been dancing to global tunes. Uh, but is there anything you would be interested in from a portfolio standpoint right now, um, whether it's on the ferrous side or even the non-ferrous plays? Well, the aluminium side, uh, particularly Nalco, looks good. Uh, I think overall metals, uh, there is still uh, with a lot of facilities getting closed at China. I think the production demand, uh, 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 you know, the, uh, in future is going to sustain uh, for the uh, domestic aluminium producers. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, uh, amongst the domestic uh, guys, I think Nalco looks at current uh, valuation active. And uh, one can recommend a buy at current valuation as far as Nalco is concerned. Overall, metals, I'll still be cautious. Some of the uh, steel companies looks interesting, and Tata Steel uh, at current valuation looks interesting. In fact, uh, they are not getting push and pull is a blessing in disguise, mm. and we strongly believe that. So with uh, without push and push and power, I think Tata Steel looks good at current levels. Okay, well, uh, st stock for all seasons. Page Industries, uh, fresh high. Look, look at that stock. Uh, uh, last uh, LNT Finance Holdings at uh, new intraday high, uh, Ultra Tech Cement. Uh, the, the, the point I'm trying to make here is that uh, the, the Nifty, of course, is facing this a uh, bit of a resistance at 11,500. You know, normally taken out with a bit of a gap. But uh, what really stands out today is, and you know, in the morning we're discussing that is the mid cap rally perhaps getting slightly, you know. Uh, you know, low quality. Mm. And the Nifty Junior was not performing, for example. Today, you've seen the junior stocks make a bit of a comeback and, in fact, big comeback. You know, the, uh, the likes of LNT Finance Holdings, uh, Chula Mandalam, Dalmia Bharat, uh, good quality stocks are making a bit of a move today, sort of mm, Absolutely. Uh, look at the week's rankings, and obviously, pharma really stands out. That's the one sector that's done the best in the week, and Sun Pharma has led from the front. Um, Sudeep, on Sun itself, I mean, Sun is now 621 as we speak. 52-week uh, highs are already here. Can this stock still be bought or is it too late now to join the bandwagon? Well, I think the performance uh, this quarter surprised everybody on the street. And, uh, you know, there has been significant buying after that. But on the pharma, okay. we have a slightly differentiated strategy, Survi. What we have been recommending is a basket buy. Instead of uh, buying only Sun Pharma, what we would recommend is buy a basket of five, six pharma stocks. 
which should include Sun Pharma, which should include Natco Pharma, which should include Aurobindo Pharma, Glenmark, Cadilla and Torrent Pharma. These six pharma stocks should be bought as a basket because individual stocks we have seen huge amount of volatility on, on, on account of uh, US FDA issues and also other uh, pricing issues coming from uh, US. So it's always better to buy a basket. Uh, there is a tailwind on pharma because of the rupee depreciation as well as the valuation, uh, uh, you know, the, the gap which is available in pharma very clearly. What would you buy in consumption? All of these stocks, none of them come cheap. What would be your top picks now? Well, if I have to buy one consumption stock now, probably I will go and buy ITC. I think it's looking very, very interesting. Uh, remember, ITC has a, uh, a large uh, paper business as well, paper boards business. So there has been huge uh, uh, traction on the entire paper uh, because of multiple reasons, including China stopping uh, waste imports and waste paper imports. So there is an opportunity uh, as far as uh, paper boards are concerned in ITC. Apart from that, the FMCG business in ITC is very close to turnaround and starting to make money. I think that should uh, definitely help ITC. There is a uh, existing valuation gap with other large uh, cap uh, uh, FMCG peers. So ITC will be one stock. If I have to go to you know other uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, FMCG or consumer durable stocks, probably I will look at a Voltas. I think the air conditioner market looks very, very interesting. Whether you compare with the you know number of air conditioners people have vis-a-vis -vis China, whether you look at the rural electrification, which is gathering momentum, whether you look at the unit price, and also the innovation of inverter AC, I think all this augur well for the uh, uh, air air room air conditioning players and also white good player. Uh, also the GST reduction does help. So overall it should be good time for the next couple of years for the uh, uh, durable goods players. Voltas uh, coming from incredible background I think is definitely a buy at current levels. Okay, Mitesh, uh, uh, big move happening in cement today. Uh, 